Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. We are outside today with some brand spanking new irons from Cobra, King Mim Tour irons. They are extremely shiny. I can see my face right now looking at them. Uh, we got a beautiful fall day to test them out. Thomas is going to hit some shots. We're going to talk about the clubs, get some feedback. Um, just looking at these first Thomas, they look awesome, right? I mean, yeah. they're, they're shiny, they're brand new. That's part of the reason, too, maybe we're <laughs> unwrapping them right now. But, um, you know, I know you're familiar with Cobra and their line of irons. What do you think about these ones? Yeah, it's always exciting to unwrap some irons and kind of test them for the first time. You're right, definitely got that very clean uh, chrome look to look down at. Very good looking, look, looking clubs here to kind of see right off the bat. Um, I'm excited to kind of test these because I've kind of talked about, I just don't know where these kind of like kind of fit in with regards to Cobra's kind of line. They've yeah. had their, they've got their, you know, players distance iron with the Forge Tech, and then they've got their King CB and, and MB. Yeah. So I think it's going to bridge that gap a little bit, a little bit easier here. Yeah. Um, with regards to kind of a little bit more of a player's iron with just a little bit kind of more forgiveness as well. So I'm excited to kind of test these. I'm going to hit the four iron, the seven iron, and the pitching wedge with the KBS. S Taper 120 shaft is one of the stock offerings with, with yeah. these. Yeah, well, Thomas, golfers can pre-order these now, or they can uh, check out our store starting October 30th uh, for the Cobra Mim Tour irons. Again, these look awesome. I'm excited to watch you hit some and uh, get some feedback. All right, well, let's get after it. All right, so Thomas, you've got the Cobra Mim Tour irons here. You've got the pitching wedge in hand. Uh, first impression, first of all, super shiny golf clubs. <laughs> Just taking them out of the wrapper there, that was... Yeah. They're very shiny, uh, but first look at maybe a dress. Um, what do you see from these clubs? Exactly, very, very shiny. If you like that chrome, uh, very shiny look to, a, to an iron, you're gonna like these a lot. Yeah. Definitely can, not, can notice that. Uh, I'm still trying to ponder and see where these kind of fit in with regards to kind of like a, an iron set with regards to whether it's kind of in that cavity back, whether it's in that kind of that distance player's iron, it's kind of in between, so it's yeah. not really a distance player's iron based on what I'm seeing with the lofts or anything like that. Um, but it's going to be interesting to kind of test and see how far they they go, to kind of check out the, sp the spin rate on them and then the feel and look with them as well. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's a larger cavity, but it's not deep. So yep. it's, it's sort of, it's can, it can be a player's distance, could be a player's cavity, somewhere in between there, uh, one of those two categories. So maybe uh, we'll hit some shots and maybe we'll find out. Okay, yeah, my initial thought would be kind of similar to maybe like a, P770, yeah. uh, X-Forged, something kind of okay. along along those lines. Yeah, let's see what, uh, let's maybe hit a few shots with Pitching Wedge. We got 704 iron here and we'll, uh, we'll see what we find out. Sounds good. Very nice, Thomas. That slight draw is working today with the Mim Tour irons, at least with the pitching wedge. Um, you know, you hit five shots there. What did you think? Surprised me on the feel. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to feel so good off the face. Just kind of looking at it, it looked kind of like it's more, it looked kind of a little bit more, kind of like a more of a game improvement club, but it's not, it's not at all. When I first thought, I feel like it was, first I'm looking at the loft difference. Yeah. So, 45 degrees loft on a pitching wedge. I'm usually like, ah, oh, this may be in that kind of game improvement category or distance players iron category. Shocked me. It's yeah. actually really good. So I believe it's the TPU insert that's kind of yeah. behind back back here, which yep. is kind of to maybe dampen vibrations a little bit, make it feel buttery, yep. I guess, is kind of what I, what I would say. It, it felt really good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, here, first of all, one thing you always mention, 100 feet in the air, right? 100.0 feet in the air <laughs> nice. on average so we'll take that but yep. uh i mean yeah you're carrying about 147 uh your spin was just under 9,000. so okay. these are numbers i know that you like out of your pitching wedge so um it's what i'd expect for a 45 degree pitching wedge um i carry my pitching wedge which is 47 uh 140. okay so it's what seven yard kind of yeah. difference you just like to say every three to four yards is about okay. uh 
a degree. So yeah. that's probably why you know, it was just going just a little bit further okay. than the carry distance. 147, you said, right? Yeah. Yep, and then just a little bit lower spin than maybe 10,000 or yeah. club times by 1,000, as you like, right. like to say. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, really, yeah, really, really good. The dispersion, you got, it's pretty nice. You have one that kind of turned over a little bit more than the others. but The other, other four, I feel like, would go on the exact same spot. The other four are very close together. They yep. are within, those are short birdie putts if not in the hole out there. <laughs> yeah, so, no, they uh, were good. They were, this, uh, it, it felt pretty good. I, the look on it, for sure, I've always liked kind of like the, the shinier chrome look. Now, I also don't wear glasses, sunglasses when I'm, when I'm playing, so I do sacrifice that a, a little bit. So I can definitely see they're a little bit shinier. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, yeah, they, they look and feel really good. I was, I'm, I'm impressed. Like, I'm still like, I'm sure we're trying to ponder where do these fit in. It's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's a good question. Yeah, um, I wouldn't consider them distance players irons, but I wouldn't consider them like a tour players club either. Too, they're 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 definitely built for better players. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're they're really good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what the seven iron does for us. Maybe we have a more uh, clear answer on that one. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Well, Thomas, five shots, the seven iron now, the Cobra Mim Tour. Um, at address, that look, I mean, of course it's similar to the pitching wedge, but how does that compare maybe to other seven irons you've hit? Closest comparison when I'm looking down at this, it looks more like, it looks very similar to kind of like a P770 maybe along, okay. along the lines, but not maybe not, this is shinier than a P770 would, would, would yeah. look. Um, in terms of the shape, you're saying. In terms of the shape, from what I'm, yeah, from what I'm kind of seeing here. It's uh, it's definitely surprising. It's definitely a, a little sleeker. Now I'm trying to you know think about Cobra's kind of lineup with, with their irons. They have Forge Tech. Yep. I know the loft on that is like 29 and a half degrees on, on the seven iron. This has got 33 yeah. degrees loft, so it's hard to kind of compare yeah. there. And then with regards to kind of players iron, then they go to their kind of the CB slash MB. Yeah. Um, with 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 their with their current irons at least. Um, so, yeah, it kind of. Definitely fits in there with yeah. regards to a little bit more of a player's iron with. Seems like it bridges that gap a little yeah. bit. It bridges yeah. that gap between, you know, if you're trying to get that, there, I think they're king forged uh, muscle back and cavity back kind of combo set that they offer. Yep. Kind of bridges the gap there between that and then the forged tech, which is their player's distance hollow body construction. This is more of that. It is compact and it's just a, it's closer to a player's cavity uh, type of iron there. So. Uh, we'll look at these numbers quick, and I know what your numbers generally are with seven iron. Um, now this loft is a tad stronger yep. than what you're used to playing, but yep. you know you carried it 185 on average to about 193 total, so a little bit extra pop there. Just a little bit extra pop, and then remember shot one I didn't quite catch That's there right. as well. I think it was like 179 carry. The last four shots that I hit, I feel like were basically 185 to 188. Yeah, Every they were time. all in that same range. So, yep. I mean, your carry goes up a few yards on average, probably if you uh, take out that first one. But yep. um, that's, you know, and your your ball speed is uh, basically 130. Smash Tractor 142. So, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's got a little extra, just a little extra to it for a kind of iron that fits into that 33 degree loft yeah. range. I, mean, I brought up like the... P770 X Forge along those lines, maybe just going just a couple yards further. Yeah, 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 yeah. a little bit of extra distance yep. there. Well, you can try the four iron here and okay. see how that compares. All right, well, Thomas, I did not hit the shots myself, but I've seen you hit a lot of four irons, and I am impressed with that four iron in particular. It seemed like you were ripping that one pretty good, and almost all of them carried over 220 yards. That's that's pretty solid numbers for a four iron. You did say that. You know, usually when I'm hitting a four iron, maybe not always hitting a club that's always going to carry 220, 220 yeah. yards. So, yeah, it was it was definitely going just a little, little bit further on this long iron. It's... It is a very good looking long iron. I have, I'm, look, I'm looking down at it now, and I, now I feel like I just want to 
<laughs> get more of the uh, other ones and give them kind of a little sec second chance here because these look good. <laughs> yeah. You know, these look, these are really, really good. Um, for, for a, usually I would expect the four iron to maybe look like it's a little bit kind of larger than maybe the seven iron or, or the pitching wedge. Yeah. This uh, four iron looks very, very good at address to me. I know you mentioned too the little offset that, yeah. uh, you know, usually in a lot of sets nowadays, you're kind of in this type of range that player's cavity may be into the player's distance. Yep. You kind of increase that offset as you go up the set. Doesn't seem to be the case here, at least from what you have told me. Yeah, I could absolutely play these irons, you know, especially the, the long irons, and maybe make it a little bit of like a combo set with, with these as well, like four, five, six for yeah. sure. These, these feel really good. Yeah, I mean, looking yeah. at the numbers here quickly, uh, you know, you carried on average 220, and so I think there was one that dipped a little below at like 215, and all the rest of them were over 220. Okay. Um, you know, you total at 235. Uh, your height dropped a tad, but I mean that thing was going pretty dead straight. And your average feet of curve was 3.5 feet. So and with a four iron hitting at 230 plus yards, and you're hitting it that straight. That's pretty remarkable. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I think just the first shot with this, I was like, wow, this thing, and it just didn't have any curve on it at all. I was like, yeah. I think this blew dead straight. I'm like, I could hit that shot all day. Yeah, and then yeah. we should touch on too that uh, you know the first of all the MIM construction, metal injection, molding construction, and the tungsten weighting too, which you can see in sort of the mid or longer irons in the set, kind yep. of on the toe especially. You got a little pocket there for it, and I believe actually one of the shots you said, you mentioned, I caught that kind of off the toe, and uh, it carried over 220 yards still. So maybe just a little bit right of your target, but I mean, that the club sort of packs a punch, but it also provides that forgiveness um, in a compact frame, which is, I think a lot of golfers are looking for that. Yeah, for like a, a cavity back iron, I think Cobra has got a competitor here in the King Tour. Yeah, going forward for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll give this data to you quick, Thomas, and you can break it down a little bit and uh, shed some more light on these. Sounds good. All right, Thomas, you've got the data there for the shots you hit for the Cobra MIM Tour irons. Um, what are you finding? What's uh, what are we taking away from that data? Yeah, so I'm gonna start with uh, the pitching wedge. Just the, look at the spin rate here to kind of take a quick look here. So 8,900, 9,100. I had one here, it must be a slight little miss here, 8,200 and 9,100, 9,500. So on average, about 9,000 RPMs of spin. Because it's 45 degrees of loft on it, it's going to be just a little less than around about that 95 to yeah. 100 to 10,000 RPMs of spin I'd expect in a full swing with a pitching wedge. Mm -hmm. But because it is a 45 degree pitching wedge, my carry distance was about 147 and a half. Um, so consistency wise was really good. So if you're looking here, 147, 147, 150, 146, 147 for guys to carry distance there. That is so pretty consistent. Pretty consistent. So I did, did like that a lot with the pitching wedge. Just going a little further because it's just a slightly yeah. stronger loft at 40, 45 degrees. And then you kind of talked about the height. So height on average was exactly 100 feet in the air. Very, very good with regards yep. to uh, pitching wedge there. So that was that was impressive. Um, jump into seven iron. So seven iron, usually my ball speed is around about that one, you know, that 125 to 130 mark. Yeah. Um, so ball speed was 129.9. Um, if we look at the smash factor number at 1.42 on average, also very, very good. Yeah. Um, it's kind of the numbers I'd expect out of about a, a seven iron that's got 33 degrees of loft. Usually my seven iron that has, that actually has uh, 34 degrees of loft on it is usually about one, 138 to 1.4. Okay. So because there's a little bit less loft yeah. on this club, good, efficient smash factor numbers there. Spin rate, 6,400 RPMs of spin. So in that took 6,500 mark, very, yeah. very good as well for regards to spin. Um, carry distance, I had one, the first shot that I hit, carried 179, otherwise everything, actually the others were 186.7, 186.1, 188.7, 187.8. So very consistent yes. those last four swings. Yeah. You're talking two yards, up to two yards of separation between yeah. between those four shots there, which is really impressive and then the height was about 95 feet in the air so pretty pretty good with regards yep. to height 
And then the, the four iron, the four iron really impressed me. The look of the four iron looked very, very good looking four iron. Yeah. Um, I was expecting to be a little larger looking down at it, but when I first picked it up, I was like, this thing looks like a player's, almost player's four iron essentially. Mm -hmm. But I know it's got a little bit of kind of forgiveness in there. Tung tung tungsten weighed a little yep. bit there as, as well. Um, so looking at kind of numbers, I was carrying the ball pretty far for the, with this four iron. So it was carrying on average 220. Yeah. I had one that was a slight miss that went 215, but otherwise 221, 220, 221, 221. Uh, you can't really get better than that with a uh, a four iron. If I was to take that miss it out, we're talking one yard difference yeah. in carry distance. Right. I could I could definitely uh, definitely take that. Um, the first shot I hit with this one, you know, that definitely impressed me. Zero point zero feet of curve on the ball. Um, <laughs> it's hard to uh, with a two hundred and twenty yard shot. That's really tough to do. Yeah, two hundred twenty one yard carry going two thirty six. Yeah, I would I would take that all day. So I was real. Like I said I was really impressed with the uh, with the long long irons. Being a better player, um, I may not quite play the seven iron through wedge with with, yeah. with these, but for sure those long irons. Wow, that would, they they really kind of mm -hmm. impressed me there as well. I know um, one of the things you talked about too with maybe talking about the player assistance category and maybe the fact that. This might not fit into that very well, actually, is because sometimes with those, you get those jumpers, right? Distance-wise, where it's maybe jump on you a little bit and kind of uh, inflate that carry number. The consistency with all three clubs, carry distance was really remarkable. Uh, and that kind of, uh, you know, lends, its, uh, lends itself to that player's iron category a little bit more just because of how consistent it was distance-wise. Yeah, and that brings me to the dispersion with regards to consistency yeah. here. I'm looking at the top here, you can see four dots, with the exception of the one that carried 215, carrying right at one 220. Yeah. Very, very straight, very good with it with regards to four iron. Seven iron, I'm looking at the red circle now. Four shots there that were basically the exact same kind of carry there, just a little, about 186 on, yeah. on average there. It was a very, very good one, slight little miss hit, but even the miss hit wasn't bad. I mean, yeah. I'm talking, yeah, very, very good. I, I'm impressed with these irons. Um, yeah, I, they're definitely not, you know, Cobra has their player's distance iron with the with the Forge Tech, um, but this is definitely a good blend between yeah. kind of what Cobra has there to offering to a better player's club, essentially, yeah. there too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it offers that technology, you get their forgiveness, and you have also the feel. You know, we talked about that, that thermoplastic insert there in the back. You can kind of feel it. it's a little bit kind of like that, it feels kind of rubbery. It's yep. back there and it really dampens the club, and you talked about that too, how it feels pretty good. Uh, for a club, you know, for an iron set here that maybe isn't in the player's category exclusively or it isn't a blade, um, but it feels good, performs well, and I think positive feedback all around here for the Cobra MIM Tour irons. Yeah, pleasant surprises with, with, the, with these irons here. I know Cobra, they were trying to get these clubs out earlier in the, in the year before COVID kind of hit, but I'm glad that they stuck with these irons because I think they're going to perform really, really well going for the new lineup of clubs. Yeah, golfers out there can get these starting in our stores October 30th. I also can pre-order these as well right now. So Cobra King MIM Tour Irons. Um, excellent feedback here from Thomas Campbell hitting the shots. They look great. They feel great. They perform great as well. If you're interested in these irons, you can stop into one of our stores, can contact our online fitting and support team, and one of our experts will get you set up. Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots and providing your feedback. Not a problem.